Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of the Let's Play of Pokemon Sleep. I think this is episode 36. It's kind of wild how it's been over five weeks since this series started. And actually, overall, I would say, as of right now, it's more popular than my main account, which is kind of funny. So I'm glad that you guys are enjoying this series overall, and we will continue to pump these out daily. Now, we're still at Cyan Beach. We're going to be at Cyan Beach for a good old while. And because it is the sleep style discovery week, I'm hoping that by just collecting everything this week and not holding off anything for next week, that this weekend is going to be pretty good. Also, as far as I know, we are going to get some effects from the events, both in naps and main sessions. Man, that Jigglypuff looks so sleepy. Yeah, so I'm hoping to find a lot of sleep styles just in the weekend. And overall, in the future, I'll probably just do a full-on overstacking strategy. Just never collect from the Croconaw, the Totodile, and the Feraligator. And then maybe I'll consider popping it on Mondays only to get like a good boost early on. And then go directly back into overstacking. Now... That strategy is a little bit complicated, maybe, for, for some of you. But I've tried my best to lay out the foundation. Like, you can use Suicune, the Procket skill, and then by not collecting from the other Fairy Specialists, they get stuff added on top of their already full inventory, so they keep on sneaky snacking. Suicune keeps piling on new stuff that you can carry into new weeks. Alright, we got snoozing. I have forgotten to look up the various fairy specialists that show up at Siam Beach during snoozing. I think for the most part it's just Eevee, which is a skill specialist. But thankfully, during this... Oh yeah, maybe Pikachu. That is true. This Discovery Week event is at least giving us some different Pokemon of various sleep styles, so that's a little bit helpful. Although, it is messing with my nap sessions to try to find Totodile, Spiel, and all the rest. So it's not impossible that in the weekend that I won't be doing the nap sessions and really just maximize that drowsy power to see if I can find a lot of new styles. So we found a Rattata here. That is a snoozing berry specialist, although I'm not too big on Raticate for my team building specifically because I'm not even sure if I'm all that big on wall rain now that old gold power plant is a thing. Now, I will want to just at least get one busted wall rain, but I think I'm going to limit it to one. I would be much more interested in a Pichu now that we know that Grape of Berry is favored. And then whenever the event for the new area happens, that should be like a two week event. Something like that. Basically for the most of October it's going to take place. It's going to be a lot of fun hanging out at Greengrass Isle then. Because I'm going to see if I can snatch some of those. Depending on how good or bad they are. And set me up for... Uh, set me up for long term at OGPP. Because I'm almost wondering if it is possible to make like a huge jump. But I may have to do a pit stop at Lapis Lakeside to get my healer. Depending on how good of a Wigglytuff I eventually find. If I find a completely busted one where I have main skill chance of nature, skill trigger M, helping speed M. You know, I may settle just on the Wigglytuff and skip Lapis altogether. And just prep a team here for a Cyan Beach. And then work on a team for OGPP. Maybe I'll even like get a Master Biscuit here on the free to play. Hang out at Greengrass Isle for a while and just snatch a Raikou and do base Raikou for OGPP. That would be hilarious, by the way. Okay, so I'm not really targeting the Rattata as mentioned. So unless I have a spare bonus biscuit or it shows up hungry, it is a skill specialist and I'm not really going to put stuff into it. Now, Sveal, on the other hand, is a way different beast. I am desperately interested still in a wall rain. As I said, I will probably just limit it to one, but I do want it. So I'm just going to keep feeding here 
until it's full. There's a crit. Hey, there's a chance we actually might get this one unless it's full already. It's not. Man, this free-to-play, it's got some crazy luck on it. So, we have something to review here in the main session, and then as mentioned, there is also a nap. And the way these um, event week works is you, for the most part, get Pokemon of the sleep type that you have, although you get some of the other two. The naps are slumbering, so hopefully we'll get three or four uh, slumbering Pokemon in the nap session. So, actually, I think because of this new area, Raichu has gotten a very, very solid meta boost. Despite the fact it's been one of the best Pokemon in the game since the start, it's just crazy right now. So I'm going to send off the Pikachu candy temporarily, and then we'll see whatever the nap session uh, will overwrite. All right, we got a spiel here, friendship level four. Hasty nature means EXP gains up. Don't know if that is good for us. No berry finding in that first slot. We see it's level 10. It's got helping speed though. Ingredient finder is not good. Inventory more speed is good, but uh, yeah, that nature is not going to cut it. It's not terrible, but it's also not got berry finding. And that is uh, a very just flat requirement because of how powerful it is. And overall, this free to play account, the strategy is to collect a couple of the key berry specialists and just grind the way grind away in the game here by uh, doing that. So get some great from the Pikachu and these guys. Hey, this week here, another trigger. That's nice. And for some reason, the text in that box is like way off screen now. Wonder if that is some updates. They're trying to do some new skills maybe for the new area and something. Some other places end up not working too well and then they have to patch it. But uh, let's have a look at the nap. I'm super curious about the nap because it is going to be slumbering. At that point, we have a much greater chance of finding Iglybuff and Totodile and another Sveal potentially. That's not terrible. And uh, yeah, we've got a nap here of a solid 220. Completely by coincidence, mind you. But that is the target for most naps, so that's funny. Like, on the minute, too. Okay, we have a slumbering nap. Seven million, we got five Pokemon, so probably three out of these are gonna be slumbering. Hopefully a couple berry specialists. Hey, there's the Iggly buff. We have a... Slowpoke and a Bond Slayer, all right. Well, at least there's one Pokemon to put the biscuits into. Ooh, another Iglybuff. The Totodile is from the Incense. And then we have another Bond Slay. It's crying. Yeah, I'm crying too. I'm crying right back at you. Although it is a new sleep style, so in that regard, I'm not too dissatisfied. But uh, yeah, at the very least, there are three Pokemon here on the field that I'm going to target. Uh, the main Pokemon will be Iglybuff. Um, I'm still desperately in need of a good healer. So we're gonna just quick review these photos. Pokemon Snap 3. And we have the Iglybuff to feed. I'm hoping that at least one of them will be hungry. That would be kind of nice. I was super lucky the other day catching four out of four Iglybuff that showed up on the same court. That was pretty crazy, so I don't know if I'll be able to bring back both home, but uh, we'll just have to see. Yo, the Totodile is hungry. That's ridiculous. How many Totodiles haven't shown up hungry so far? That's, that's crazy. And we have a mega hit. We save two biscuits on top of it being hungry, saving another two biscuits, so we've Save four biscuits. I have had some good luck with the mega hits though, so maybe this is a good total doll. That could be pretty cool. Still haven't found a viable very finding total doll. All right, let's think about this. Um, 
I could at the very least, I will have to feed it one biscuit. And then if I feed it the bonus biscuit, but it could have still been hungry, then I would have missed out on a point here. Okay, my real problem is if it gets full in an awkward placement here, that's not going to be good. So I'm going to be... No, that is that was a bad idea. Let's see. Uh, my biggest concern here is not getting the full value out of this bonus biscuit. I'm going to feed it here. So that Igly buff was fed one biscuit and one bonus. And this one is a clean slate. Now, that means I probably won't get this one in this recording, which is fine. Unless it crits and is hungry afterwards. On the first or the second biscuit. Nope. Maybe also full. I've had too much luck with Eggly Buff. Yeah, there you go. Okay, fair game. Alright, yeah, I am going to pass on the Slowpoke. It's not a very specialist, and I have a very narrow set of Pokemon that I need to focus on. So, some of you guys were not too happy with my Eggly Buff send, although most of you have a Wigglytuff healer, so kind of just have to balance that out. I think for now, though, for Alligator Candy, super strong. Definitely something most people are happy about. So, for Alligator, it's the first Pokemon up here. Let's see what we got. Naughty Nature. I don't remember this one. I think it's speed up. Not Berry Finding. Triple Sausage. Ooh, it's helping bonus. Now, if this is Berry Finding a level 50, that would be ridiculous. No, it's not. It's skill trigger. Skill level up. S. Oof. It's got main skill chance down nature. So that basically just neutralizes those second and third sub skills and essentially we have a speed up nature helping bonus photo dial it's not bad but it's definitely not what i'm looking for so that is going to go in the bin unfortunately and then we have another igly buff i'm still on the hunt for either a short term or a long term healer in the wiggly tough so it just depends on the skills. Timid should be EXP gains up. That is unfortunate. And let's see what we got. Berry finding skill level up S. This could be interesting. Because let's say this has skill trigger M on it. I do save a seed. I do get some berry finding stacking with the Suicune. Because this healer is going to be on the team 24-7. Think read and finding. Oh man, the speed of help down, I forgot. Yes, that is not it. So, for the most part, I really need a strong healer. I don't really need the bear finding on the healer because the better my team overall does, the better the overall team does, you know? I need it healed. I don't need this one to perform. I need it to heal. Because then I get more triggers on the Suicune, I get more sneaky snacking from the other Pokemon. Although it's just a nice to have in case it kind of works out, but here it clearly does not. It has speed down. So that's a big oof. And those were the captures. And then maybe there's another achievement here someplace. At least I found a mission here to be completed. It's super funny to see how many dream shards I get from these missions compared to my main account. And then also on the bag of dream shards that I have on my account here. They're free to play still. It's crazy because of the event that just happened with the Suicune and everything. Okay, we haven't reached that peak here yet. It's coming though. Maybe tomorrow. 9,932 berries. And it's very little text, but it says 63,000 dream shards. Just added right to our box, so that's pretty good. Maybe we can have a look at the friend list. I'm just going to draw a couple of you guys and peek a look at your Pokemon. 
I can also mention we have three spots left here on the free to play. So whenever you are seeing this in the future, maybe it is full already. I don't know because these videos are posted at least a day in advance for the members. Early access. Let's have a look at Robert sending the Vulpix candy. And yeah, I would assume that most of you guys would be at Top Hollow this week. That's kind of where it's at for the most part. And that looks like a team that is ready for a whole cold power plant. That's amazing. You got a Pikachu that looks shiny. Ampharos, Magnezone, that Raichu and a Raikou. Good stuff. Are you already overstacking that Pikachu and the Raichu or what's going on here? Super curious to know. All right, and then we have Koro. It's gonna pick some random people here. Togetic top sleep, don't mind that. I'm actually considering to hunt Togepi here on the free to play eventually. That'd be really funny. In the case that I find a really busted Wigglytuff to where it kind of competes with a long-term Gardevoir. I'm probably going to go for our Togekiss here on the team. That would be really, really funny. All right. Well, the Raichu there seems ready for the OGPP, and that um, Typhlosion there too seems pretty strong. Level 51 is quite up there. All right. Let's see what we got here. Alienite. Alienite. Are you two a new player or is this your free to play account? I feel like if I remember correctly from the chats, you're a relatively recent player. That Totodile, even if it costs you short term, could give you a lot of value by just evolving it into Croconaut because of that extra drop from this week here. Did you also invest in the base week here? Is that what I'm seeing here? That'd be really funny, because then essentially you're doing the same strategy as me, which is super, super funny. Thank you for the Chikorita candy. That really helps. I am looking for a Meganium and a Mankey. So yeah, definitely going to do a pit stop at Lapis Lakeside and do that whole thing. Unless, of course, I find that just pristine Wigglytuff. All right, other JP has got full on fire team here. No healer is surprising. I guess that is because we're seeing the knight team here potentially. And so if there is a good healer here on the team, then it would probably just push these past 130, 40% in the evening. And then at that point you can just the healer back in the bag overnight and then put it back out in the morning. Okay. How about Elliot pro game? Pikachu. I like that candy. Ooh, you got that shiny Wigglytuff. That was amazing. You got this Suicune too. Nice. With the Feraligator and the Dodrio and Blastoise. Pretty solid team here, and I'm surprised you are at Cyan Beach this week. Okay, we have Gerta93. Let's have a look at your team. Sending the Comfey candy. With an Eevee. Whoa, super curious what kind of Eevee this is going to be. Is it a Jolteon in the making? Let's see a Flareon, level 50 Tarantar, level 60 Charizard, and Dragonair. Not bad. 120 mil this early in the week is pretty good, gotta say. Especially if you're also trying to prepare a little bit for the OG PP. So, Namu, sending the Iglebuff candy, much appreciated. You got a Bayleaf, Espeon, Glaceon, Blastoise, and Quaquavel. Cool team there. Man, every time I look at Quaquavel, I'm like, man. That's an underrated Pokemon still. People are not talking enough about the Coquavel. All right, just going to get rid of this notification and we should pop into the team view because I like to do that as our final little stop here on the free to play before we round off the episode to just take a look at where we're at in terms of the team overall. So currently, if we do the help me pick, we can find that on the very finding side of things, these show up. Now, it is interesting though that this would overtake the Pikachu that has been showing up uh, recently. That helping bonus and speed up help certainly is strong. And overall, if I had the chance to just swap the levels on these two, 
obviously it would be a good level up. Although I don't know at which point necessarily this level 10 is better than the level 18. Could probably do some math on that and maybe I should actually consider to put this on the team instead of this one. But uh, yeah, you guys let me know, especially when it's 100% energy and uh, everything. So yeah, I may consider that. You guys give me some feedback and I'll think about it. So yeah, the Fraligator here is by far the best Pokemon. I think overall it even beats that helping bonus one. Maybe not. But yeah, that's pretty good. So level 25, probably not going to put a lot of candies into it. Not even this one. This weekend though, I'm rushing to level 50. I need that inventory L. It hits sneaky snacking in the middle of the night and it breaks my heart because I wake up to no triggers. Okay, and then we have Jiggly enough. Starting to get a pretty big pile here of the Jigglypuff candy. Thank you all for sending that. And uh, it's also because I've been catching a lot of them. Yeah, the hunt continues there and we just have to see whatever happens in the future with the captures, which is a little bit fun and a little bit frustrating, but mostly fun. And uh, it's a daily endeavor. So hope you guys have enjoyed this episode of the free to play accounts. The Let's play of Pokemon Sleep. You can give a big old thumbs up if you would like to see more content like this in the future. And thank you very much for watching.